Victoria's Secret, a staple in every mall. Its famous catalog delivered in nearly every mailbox for decades. The company, once highly valued, is now being sold for just over a billion dollars. A fraction of what it was once worth. As part of the deal, their embattled CEO, Les Wexner, is out. As the business battles recent allegations of a toxic workplace, its parent company arguing they have made significant strides to ensure a safe environment. Plus questions regarding Wexner's close relationship with the late, disgraced Jeffrey Epstein, his longtime money manager. Wexner has previously said he was unaware of Epstein's alleged criminal activity. With its glitz, glamour and models strutting the runway in their famous angel wings, the annual televised fashion show was canceled last year for good due to falling ratings. Former angel Carly Kloss said she walked away from the brand back in 2015 because it wasn't, quote, the kind of message I want to send to young women around the world about what it means to be beautiful. What do you make of what's happened here with Victoria's Secret? I think that brands and companies that are really about how can we present our products and services in a way that reflect women's reality and not the fantasy or the imagination of men are the ones that are winning. Women moving away from male-focused advertising where sex sells, epitomized in shows like Mad Men. I think that's a little suggestive. Good. That's what I was going for. Well, I don't feel like it fits my body type. The women we talk to suggest they are shopping elsewhere. Today, in 2020, what do you feel like the modern woman would like? Something that's comfortable for comfortable, her, not basic. for a man. Yeah. While the higher price Victoria's Secret struggles, Can't turn it off then. body positive and more affordable brands like Airy and Third Love have been rapidly gaining customers by focusing on fit and comfort and offering more options for women of different body types. Did we change as consumers? Did women? Of course they did. Women changed, women's wardrobes changed. And the ability today to have women feel how they want to feel, look how they want to look, and basically embrace themselves, that's the message of the future.